My masters and friends and good people draw near and look to your purses for what I do say. And though little money in them you do bear, yet it costs more to lose than you gain in a day. You've oft times been told, both the young and the old, and bidden beware of the cut purse so bold. For he's the most rogue that crowds up and curses, who cries out, my masters, beware of your purses. Youth, youth, thou hadst better been starved by thy nurse than live to be hanged for cutting a purse. At plays and at sermons and at the lost sessions, tis daily the practice such booty to make. And under the gallows, yea, at executions, they fear not the onlookers' purses to take. Reports there have been of some that were seen in Westminster Hall, yea, the pleaders between. Then why should the judges be free from this curse more than my good self is for cutting a purse? Youth, youth, thou hadst better been starved by thy nurse than live to be hanged for cutting a purse. But, O oh, ye vile nation of cut purses all, relent and repent and amend and be sound, and know that ye should not by honest men's toil advance your own fortunes to die above ground. And though you go gay in silks as you may, it is not the highway to heaven, they say. So repent, or oh, repent you for better or worse, and kiss not the gallows for cutting a purse. Youth, youth, that's better been starved by thy nurse than live to be hanged for cutting a purse. Your eyes and your fingers are nimble of growth, but the hangman has oft times been nimbler than both. And yet you're deceived by many a slut, but the hangman is only the cut purse is cut. It makes you to vex when he bridles your necks, and then at the last what becomes of your tricks. But when you should pray, you begin for to curse the hand that first taught you to cut at a purse. Youth, youth, thou hadst better been starved by thy nurse than live to be hanged for cutting a purse.